Hello and welcome to WeVC. My name is Jay and welcome to our Discord for Beginners video. This is a guide for those of you that have never used Discord before but want to join the community. If you are already an avid user of Discord then don't worry, this guide will still be very helpful and we have several videos on our channel with more advanced tips which you can find in the description below. In this video we're going to cover the basics. What is Discord? How to get started? how to add your friends and how to create your very own server. I'll also teach you how to join other people's servers, some basic text commands and take you on a virtual tour around the program and show you how to work your microphone and headset. So firstly, what is Discord? Well, if you've experienced Skype or Slack, then it's very similar except oriented more towards gamers. It allows you and your friends to talk to one another through text, voice, or even video. You're able to also make servers so that groups of your friends are able to talk to each other at the same time and chat in server channels. Think of them as rooms with each room having a different topic inside. Now let's start off with the basics, how to install Discord. This is as simple as going to your favorite search engine and searching for Discord. Hit the first link and you'll be greeted with a large download button for either Windows or Mac, depending on what machine you are using. Simply click the download button, run the program and Discord will set up. All you have to do next is create a username and password. You can also use the Discord mobile app to log in using a QR code. Once you've created your account and logged in, you'll be presented with Discord itself. And it looks a little empty right now, but we'll soon populate it and make it look great. First things first, let's give you a bit of personality. Click the cog in the bottom left corner to go to user settings. This menu hosts all of your changes related to Discord, but we'll come back to that later. Let's give you a unique username and change your profile image. There we go, that's a little bit better. Also, whilst we're here, go ahead and click the privacy and safety tab. In this menu, you're able to change your message filtering and who can add you. It's worth checking over this section to choose your preferred safety restrictions. For example, if you are setting this Discord account for your child, then you may want to click the keep me safe settings as well as only letting friends of friends add them. Exit out here now and let's show you how to add your first friend. So the username you just created is also your name ID and this is what your friends will use to add you. Get your friend to send you their ID and then head to the big green rectangle at the top of the screen and click add friend. It is important to remember that usernames are case sensitive. So if you find that adding your friend presents errors, try making sure it's all typed out correctly. Go ahead and type or paste in your friend's username and it will add them to your friends list. Hooray, right, you've got your first friend. Now let's go ahead and configure your audio settings so that you're actually able to talk to your friends. Head back to the cogwheel that takes you to user settings and once in there, head to the voice and video section under the app settings. This is the control panel for everything to do with our microphone, headphones and webcam. What we want to do first is configure our input and output device as it's set to default on startup. Click input device firstly and a drop down menu will appear. Find your microphone and then hit let's check under mic test to make sure that it's coming through. Now head to output device and find your headphones or speakers. Now you have your headphones and microphone set up, it's now worth taking a look at what input method you would like. Discord allows you to choose between push to talk, which requires you to manually press a key on your keyboard or mouse to begin talking, or allowing your microphone to free flow constantly. Underneath this box, finally, is the video settings options, which allows you to use your webcam on calls if you wish to do so. Simply click on the camera drop down menu and select your camera, and you're good to go. And there you are, you're ready to call a friend. It's incredibly simple to chat to people on Discord. When you click on your friend's name, you will see that you can message them or even call them. However, the best way to talk to your friend really is through servers. So what are servers? On its most basic level, it's a room where you and your friends can chat to one another. Think of creating a server as a hotel lobby, but you have 100 of your friends in there. Sure, you can all stand there and talk to one another, but what if some of your friends want to talk about Call of Duty in peace away from everyone else? Then we would move these friends to another room in the form of a server channel. You can create multiple of these server channels for different interests where you can go and talk about any and everything. Within this server, you can also add moderators and restrictions to make it a safer place. You also have more popular servers created by brands. If you click the compass icon underneath the plus button, you will find official servers created by brands and popular games such as State of Decay, Xbox, Microsoft Flight Simulator, and much, much more. These servers will be heavily moderated to keep their users safe, so upon joining, you will be restricted until you read the rules and agree to the conditions. So, let's set up your own server. Now, don't worry, this may sound like you need a computer science degree, but it's really quite simple. On the left bar where your friends are listed, you will see a plus sign. Simply click this and you'll be presented with a pop-up menu. You have a few options here curated by Discord. You can create your own server and Discord will create a blank server for you and your friends to join, which you can then later customize. However, if you, for example, click gaming, then Discord will create a server with a few voice text channels already created. It's not a huge difference, but honestly, it does save a bit of time later. Give your server a name and profile picture and voila, you're in. You have two types of channels, voice and text. 
you can add channels, change the name of them, and even add permissions so that only certain members of your server can actually join them. We do have a whole bunch of these tips and tricks on our channel that we'll link in the description below if you're looking to learn more of the advanced tips that we can recommend. Let's now go over some basics of Discord servers. If you click one of the voice channels, then you'll automatically join and others in the server will be able to hear you instantly. If you wish to join the server muted, then next to your name in the bottom left corner holds two important buttons, mute and deafen. The mute button will mute your microphone and disable people from hearing you inside the server. And the deafen button will mute the entire voice channel, but only for yourself not for everyone else. This is particularly useful when you're, for example, watching a YouTube video as great as this, but your friends are making a whole bunch of noise and you need to silence them just for a moment. Another useful tip for Discord servers is using commands to add personality. These commands add a little personality to what you're typing and can often cause a bit of laughter. For example, the slash TTS command turns what you typed into text to speech and it'll be announced to the entire server. These can get pretty complicated as you can do some interesting things such as text formatting, which we do have a video on. Once again, link in the description below if you wanna check that out. But more simple commands like the ones that are on screen now are very easy to use. Slash table flip is a personal favorite of mine. Simply type in slash followed by one of the words you just seen to enter the command and it's simple as that. And there you have it, our beginner's guide to Discord. We've shown you how to download the client and get signed up, configure your audio devices and even add your friends to a server where you can wow them with your incredible table flipping commands. Discord has a whole bunch of cool further features that we have videos on and we will once again link the playlist in the description down below. Did you enjoy this video? Would you like us to make a part two listing some more advanced tips and tricks? Let us know in the comment section down below and we'll be sure to check it out. As always, we would love if you could leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new to the channel, hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload and we'll see you in the next one.